iPhone users face hacking risk because of major security issue. Developers are able to preview their apps on the App Store using the Test Flight program where Apple has a lenient approach towards apps that are published for testing. And hackers have reportedly realized the ability to push spyware through third-party keyboards that you can use on iPhones. Welcome to Var India News. Apple has long touted the privacy and security of its platforms, particularly iOS, the operating system used in iPhones. However, a recent discovery by UK-based cybersecurity firm Certo Software raises concerns about the potential loophole that could allow hackers to exploit iPhone users without raising any alarms. Curto's research found that Apple's test flight program, which allows developers to distribute pre-release versions of their apps for beta testing, has lax security policies. This laxity could allow malicious actors to distribute apps distinguished as legitimate ones, enabling them to spy on iPhone users through third-party keyboards. The situation related to these spying activities has to be a concern for Apple as many people are even using the modus operandi to sell their services to people who want someone to be monitored on their phones. The firm mentions that such nefarious services are available for as low as $30, which is 2450 rupees approx, which gets them access to anyone's iPhone covertly. The vulnerability lies in the way test flight apps are installed. Unlike apps downloaded from the App Store, which undergo a rigorous review process by Apple, test flight apps bypass this process. This means that malicious apps can be distributed to a wider audience without being detected. Once a malicious test flight app is installed, it can request permission to access the user's keyboard. If granted, the app can then track everything the user types, including passwords, credit card information, and other sensitive data. This data can then be sent back to the hackers without the user's knowledge. It's important to note that Apple has yet to officially acknowledge this vulnerability. However, the research by Xerto Software raises serious concerns about the potential for hackers to exploit Apple's test flight program. Let's look into today's headlines. Google modifies its cryptocurrency trust ad policies. Google has revealed modifications to its advertising guidelines that in some cases permit digital coin trusts to run advertisements. Google Ads will enable qualified advertisers to promote their products to the general public in the United States starting on January 29, 2024. To get certified, advertising must, however, abide by regional regulations and fulfill licensing standards. Samsung introduces the New Beginnings program. Samsung launched the New Beginnings campaign in India with the aim of boosting sales amid the waiting season. When their three or more Samsung products are purchased, customers might receive a 7% discount. For new home setups, it provides product bundles and specialized help. The sales are good through February 29, 2024 and can be applied on smartphones, wearables, TVs, tablets, audio items and more. TikTok becomes the first app to receive $10 billion in consumer spending. Being the first non-gaming mobile app to earn $10 billion in sales through the Apple App Store and Google Play, TikTok has reached a noteworthy milestone. With this achievement, TikTok joins the ranks of high earners of games like Candy Crush Shaga, Monster Strike, Honor of Kings, and Clash of Cats. 18 fake loan apps on Google Play Store revealed with more than 12 billion users. 18 deceptive loan applications on Google Play Store have been unveiled by cybersecurity experts. The applications collectively have more than 12 million downloads. These apps with enticing promises are actually tools to dupe users compromising their personal and financial information. 
The spy loan network specifically sets its sights on potential borrowers across Southeast Asia, Africa and Latin America. Ola Electric's 5,840 crore rupees IPO is expected by next week. Ola Electric is getting ready to send the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, its draft red herring prospectors by December 20. This action is a component of the business's intentions to generate a significant $700 million via an initial public offering. By early 2024, the company hopes to be valued between $7 to $8 billion. The IPO is intended to raise money for the development of a lithium-ion cell manufacturing facility and the growth of Ola Electric's electric vehicle business. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.